Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Don Joe number BN6, numeral 4, 605 house number in a bright brass finish. Uh, this is a piece of solid brass hardware. It's cast brass. Uh, it's 605 is the finish code that they give it. That means three things. It means it's uh, made of solid brass that it has a polish on it, and that it has a lacquer applied. All three of those apply to this. Okay, This is a six inch house number. Generally I find house numbers run a little shy on the advertised height. Um, there's a nominal size and then there's the actual size. The two by four. Two by four doesn't measure two inch by four inch, at least not for the last several decades. Um, so yeah, it's five and seven eighths. Overall width over here, about three and a half uh, pardon me, about three and three eighths. Okay. Uh, projection looks like it's about a quarter inch. Uh, very nice and handsome. It's a new number four is the numeral. Obviously, they can do everything from six through nine. I think six and nine will be the same numeral. They generally are just turned over, uh, but you'll be able to do everything in that regard. Uh, it's going to include screws. Okay, not magnetic, although it seems to be, no, there's no magnetism at all. The screws, however, those are made of steel, so be mindful that they're made of steel. Uh, I use the magnet to uh, make clear what the base material is. The disadvantage of the fact that they're not uh, brass is that, well, they're steel, and everything exposed uh, that contains iron is going to rust eventually. Would I be too concerned? No, you're installing a piece of polished brass hardware in an exterior application. It's all going <laughs> to fatigue with time. Even the steel screw, even the brass, the lacquer will eventually, eventually fatigue with time. The advantage, though, of it being steel is that it will be a more durable screw to run into whatever you're attaching it to. Probably wood. Uh, brass screw, those can be awfully um, disappointing when you or trying to install it and you shear that screw and then it's hard to get your hands on a six by one inch you know brass screw um, to match the rest of what you're doing so there's an advantage there actually you know so let's switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at the supporting documentation okay so here's the item that we're looking at numeral four uh, factory image here. Number four, forged brass. I said a number six screw. They're saying a number eight. Um, no. I'm gonna, uh, no, yeah, they're correct. Yeah, it's a number eight screw. Number eight by one inch sheet metal screw. Yeah, not a number six. Uh, six inches the height, made of brass, polished brass. Sold as each. When you buy one, we'll ship you one. There's a link here to the product catalog where we can review all of the accessory hardware from Don Joe. And this catalog is a collection of those items that may be generally seen in a residential application for a variety of different types of door work, meaning remodelers' plates, door viewers, door guards, the flip over and the chain style. Neither of these are fire rated nor approved for handicap compliance, just just to toss that in there. Elbow catch, those are used on cabinet doors where you have a pair of cabinet doors. You'll use an elbow catch on the one door that would be deemed the inactive. Handrail brackets, hinge pin window bolts, hinge pins, hinge pins, window bolts. Um, so let's see here now. These are your window bolts. What the, these are security devices uh, is exactly what this is. Um, and generally what happens with this is you would install this hinge pin into a hinge, obviously, and you would have a hole in the other side of the leaf so that when the door is closed, this projects into the other side, into the door, let's say, rendering it 
a bit more difficult to pull that door out if you're trying to bypass the door by, say, driving the pins out. Uh, this will not prevent. This will not allow you to separate the door from the jam. Um, you know, same concept with the window bolts. Uh, hooks, obviously. Finger pull. You get the point. Crash chain, edge pull, sash lift, or sash lock. The numbers door knockers are here. You can see that they'll do the BN6 and also a BN4, which is 4 inch, and that they're only listing polished brass uh, available for these. Um, that's probably because they're bringing these in finished from, a, from an OEM or some other company. Don Joe can most definitely powder coat and do other finishes in house, but they might be bringing in these house numbers pre-manufactured. Not, you know, they're, they're whoever is, is is creating these castings for them might be doing the finishing as well. So they're not bringing them in raw brass um, and then finishing them them in house. But I know they have the capability to powder coat and do antique brass, satin nickel, antique nickel, you know, things of that nature. Now below this video here is a link to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Donjo products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog, which is broken up into subsections here. So if you know that you're dealing with a particular product that you can, under, you know, that you can de decipher based on the title of the subsection catalog, if you want to look at pull plates, just go here. The whole catalog is good, just a bit unwieldy, you know, just hop into those subsections. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, a nice quality piece of equipment that's here, very ca common. When would you use a 4 inch versus a 6 inch and vice versa? Hard to say. Um, the scope and the scale of what you're applying it to would certainly dictate that. Uh, how far away will you be attempting to view the house numbers? Uh, what do the surrounding area uh, have for theirs? You don't want them to be too small because then it's not effective and too large looks a little strange. Um, four inch is certainly more common. Uh, however, if the scale of what you're applying it to is not the common scale, um, you know, you're probably going to opt for something larger or if there's more distance from the street to where you have to view it, things of that nature. Um, I would probably try to put it into perspective as best you could, but um, six inches very common. Um, standard standard homes, you know, if this we're talking uh, the Chicago, northwest side of Chicago, bungalow, 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 bungalow. You know, um, four inch is what you're is what you're going to see. Um, but in houses that don't fit that mold. You know, six inches is going to be pretty common as well. So there, that's the best advice I can give you. Um, look at the scale and scope of what you're applying it to and, and how you're going to interact with it, at what distance, really. Any questions on the BN4 and a 605 or any other Don Joe product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.